In this video, I will show you how to create this cartoon effect in Photoshop. The image I am using for this tutorial has a width of 2000 pixels and a height of 1331 pixels. The first step is to select the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J if you're using Windows or Command J if you're using a Mac. Now convert the duplicated layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer name and selecting Convert to Smart Object. Converting the layer to a smart object will allow you to edit the image non-destructively. You will also be able to go back and change the filter values if needed. After converting the layer to a smart object, duplicate the layer two more times by pressing Ctrl J if you are using Windows, Command J if you are using a Mac. Double click on the title of the first layer and rename it to Final. Rename the second layer Outline. Rename the third layer Main. Then turn off the visibility of the final and outline layer by clicking the eye icon next to the layers. Next, make sure the main layer is selected. Then click Filter. Then click Filter Gallery. Select Artistic Folder. Then select Poster Edges. For this image, I'm going to change the edge thickness to zero. Change the edge intensity to zero and the posterization to two. Then click OK. With the main layer still selected, click Filter, select Sharpen, click on Sharpen Mass, enter 90 for the amount and 5 for the radius and 10 for the threshold. Then click OK. Now we need to add an oil paint effect to the image. With the main layer still selected, click Filter, select Stylize, then click Oil Paint. If the oil paint filter is disabled, I have a video with some troubleshooting steps you can try to fix this problem. I will put a link to that video on the screen. Here the values that you use will depend on the size of your image. Uncheck Lighting, enter 0 for the bristle details, enter 0.1 for the scale, enter 3 for the cleanliness. The stylization values you choose will depend on the size of your image. Move the stylization slider down to the lowest value. Then slowly increase the stylization value. Increase it to the point where you can see the oil paint effect but still recognize the image details. If your image starts to look like this, you have increased the stylization values too much. Make a note of the values you use because you will use the same values when we apply the oil paint filter to the outline layer. Then click OK. With the main layer still selected, click Filter, select Sharpen, then click on Sharpen Mass. Enter 60 for the amount, enter 5 for the radius, and enter 5 for the threshold. Then click OK. Now select the Outline layer and make the layer visible by clicking the eye icon. Then click Filter. Then click Filter Gallery. Under the Artistic folder, select Poster Edges. Enter 0 for the edge thickness, 3 for the edge intensity, and 6 for the posterization. Then click OK. With the Outline layer still selected, click Filter. Select Stylize. Click Oil Paint. Use the same values you used previously when you applied the oil paint filter to the main layer. Then click OK. Then change the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to 25%. Now select the final layer 
and make the layer visible by clicking the eye icon. Then click Filter, select Other, then click High Pass Filter, enter 2 for the radius, then click OK. Now change the blend mode to Overlay. For the final step, add a Levels Adjustment layer. Click the Adjustment layer icon, then click Levels, and adjust the levels to your liking using the Levels sliders. So that is how you can create a cartoon effect in Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure to check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials.